This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Everybody, on this video we're gonna see how we can create the speed wrap transition in Final Cut Pro 10 without any plugins required. Before starting with the tutorial, I just want two things from you. First, like this video and also while you're done here, subscribe for more content like this one and ring the notification bell, very important, to receive notifications every time I post a new video. Let's go and start this tutorial. We are in the Final Cut Pro 10 interface. I have placed the clips where I'm gonna show you this very easy speed wrap transition. Now, one thing that I wanna mention before we begin, it's not mandatory, but it's advised to have the same movement between the clips that you're gonna do the speed wrap. For example, we're going forward here and then we're moving forward towards the waterfall here. We don't have to do that all the time, but you know, it looks better if you have the same movement as well. So the process is this. Let me zoom in in my timeline by pressing Command plus. I will select the R key on my keyboard, the range tool, and I'm gonna select the end of the first clip. Then I will go here and I will change the speed to eight times or 20 times faster. Let's do it eight times. Then I'm gonna go into the next clip again, the range tool, I'm selecting the beginning, going, change to 8. It's good if you go with 8 times faster to continue with 8 times faster. Now, if I zoom in more, we can see that this transparent box above our clip, we can set it and change it to adjust the timing of the speed wrap. So, if I drag it to the right, the speed wrap is gonna start faster and it will end faster. Or if I turn it to the right on the next one, the speed wrap will have a smoother transition to the next clip. And let's check out the results. As you can see, simply as that, we have the first speed wrap transition. Now, let me just do one more. From here, let's go to the other clip. Again, selecting the range tool. I can select this and let's set it 20 times this time. And again, the beginning here, 20 times. Let's make this a little bit faster and let's have also the introduction to the next scene faster as well. And let's play the scene. That was an even faster. Now let's go and see a second method that we can create the spin drab. We saw the one with the range tool. If we go where we want the spin drab. Before continuing with the tutorial, please stick with me. I want a moment to talk about Squarespace. If you don't know who Squarespace is, it's an online platform where you can get your domain or build your own website without having any knowledge at all at web design or web developing. With Squarespace, you can choose between high-end design templates that you can use them as your structure, start building the elements of your website very easily, and I can't recommend it more. So if you're a video editor, videographer, photographer, creative artist in general, YouTuber, I can't stress enough how important it is to have a website. And if you don't have a website, head over to squarespace.com slash Emilio. You can try it for free first. And then when you're ready to buy, you can use the coupon code Emilio and get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. I will have the link in the description of this video down below. Now let's go back into the tutorial. Transition to take place, we will select this clip and we will press Shift and B in our keyboard. And as you can see here, now we have divided this section and we can go click here and set it to fast eight times. Again, we have the same transparent box on top and we will go again to the beginning. We can select it, Shift B, bladed, set it to fast eight times, make it even faster this time. And let's see one more thing. If we want to be more precise, on our transitions, since we don't have a simply speed wrap, but we just want to create transitions, 
we might not want to have uh, a specific portion of the clip that we want the speed ramp to take place and we want to count by frame so if we go at the end of the clip here and selecting the shift on the keyboard we're pressing the shift and the left arrow we're going to move 10 frames and again 20 frames so we can go here 20 frames to the right shift b we can change that to 20 times and then again we're going to the next clip shift right two times to go two frames shift b and changing to 20 times we will adjust the transparent boxes on top of the video and let's play both of these transitions to see as you can see a slower one eight times faster and a faster one 20 times faster now one last thing that i want to mention here is that if you have your clip sat in a higher frame rate as possible like 60 frames per second or 120 frames per second you can also create a speed wrap transition but also some speed wrap between the videos so for example this sat here that it's sat at uh, 60 frames per second i can select this portion make it slow 50 times and this also is gonna look you know more enhanced more spicy because you're gonna go from normal slow to normal and fast so you can play around but remember you need to have the video at the highest frame rate as possible because if you shoot in 24 frames per second or 25 frames per second and you want to have it slow motion you're gonna have that crazy choppiness let's see how it will look with a slow motion You saw slow motion and then move to the next one. You also add some sound effects like uh, whooshies or transition sound effects for your transition and you have the video ready as you saw in the beginning of this video. I hope you found this video helpful and you learned something new today. Speed rub is a very essential technique in Final Cut Pro 10 and as you can see, we can use it to create custom transitions as well. If you have any questions or you just want to say hi, I'm waiting in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Emilio Takas and I will see you in the next video.